Ever wondered what happens in the darkest corners of the internet? Just like the physical world, the digital world also has its concealed alleys, hidden away from the common eye. This is the world beyond the surface web that we know. There lies another layer, deeper and murkier, known as the deep web. But even deeper, beneath the iceberg, there lies the dark web, a place shrouded in mystery and intrigue. It's a place where secrets are kept, where identities are hidden, and where the unexpected is the norm. It's the internet's shadowy underbelly, a realm of the unknown that beckons to the curious, the brave, and sometimes, the nefarious. It's a place that has been painted with a broad brush of infamy, yet holds a certain allure that is hard to ignore. So, are you ready to delve into the enigma that is the dark web? Well, it's time we shed some light on these shadowy corners. Before we journey further, it's important to understand, this isn't your everyday web surfing. What we're about to delve into is a realm often shrouded in mystery and intrigue. To access the dark web, you need more than just your regular browser. You need a special kind of browser like Tor to unlock its hidden layers. Think of the internet as an iceberg. What we see, the so-called surface web, is just the tip. The bulk of the iceberg, the parts beneath the surface, that's where the dark web resides. Tor, short for the onion router, is our submarine, allowing us to dive into these depths. With Tor, we don't just surf, we glide through the internet, cloaked in anonymity. It doesn't track our activities or our location contributing to the dark web's mysterious nature. Anonymity is the currency here, and Tor is the mint. So now that we're equipped, let's dive deeper. Like any uncharted territory, the dark web has its share of the good, the bad, and the downright ugly. On one hand, the dark web is a beacon of hope for those who value privacy above all else. It's a realm where data isn't tracked where identities remain concealed under layers of encryption. It's a haven for whistleblowers, journalists, and activists living under oppressive regimes, a place where they can share sensitive information without fear of reprisal. It's a tool for circumventing censorship, providing a platform for voices that might otherwise be silenced. But where there's light, there's shadow. The same anonymity that empowers the oppressed can also shield the unscrupulous. The dark web is notorious for its illicit marketplaces, where everything from stolen credit card details to illegal substances can be bought and sold with a few clicks of a mouse. It's a playground for hackers, a hub of cybercrime, a bazaar of the forbidden. And then there's the downright ugly. The dark web is home to some of the most disturbing content imaginable. It's a place where humanity's darkest impulses come out to play, where the unthinkable becomes reality. This is the part of the dark web that gives it its sinister reputation, the part that makes your skin crawl and your stomach churn. Yet for all its darkness the dark web is not inherently evil. It's a tool. And like any tool its morality depends on how it's used. It can be a force for good, a shield against tyranny, a bastion of free speech. But it can also be a weapon, a tool of exploitation, a conduit for harm. As you can see the dark web is a lot like the real world it has its ups and downs, its heroes and villains. It's a reflection of us of our desires and fears, our virtues and vices. And just like the real world it's a place that demands our understanding, our vigilance and above all, our responsibility. But what truly sets the dark web apart? It's the cloak of anonymity. This elusive shroud not only safeguards those who seek to protect their privacy, but it also provides a haven for those with more nefarious intentions. Anonymity is the double-edged sword of the dark web. It shields whistleblowers and activists from retaliation, yet it also cloaks illegal activities in a veil of secrecy. This paradoxical nature is what makes the dark web both fascinating and fearsome. The cloak of anonymity certainly adds to the dark web's enigmatic appeal. But what is the truth behind the dark web's sinister reputation? Is it all as ominous as it seems? Let's debunk some myths and misconceptions about the dark web. Some believe it's a lawless haven for criminals, a playground for illegal activities. In reality, while it does harbor illicit activities, it's also a refuge for those seeking privacy from prying eyes. It's a platform for free speech, a haven for activists, and a sanctuary for whistleblowers. It's not all black market deals and illegal transactions. There are stories of journalists using the dark web to communicate with sources in oppressive regimes, of ordinary people using it to protect their personal information from data breaches. So the dark web isn't as dark as it's painted or is it? The line between myth and reality often blurs, adding more layers to the enigma that is the dark web. Welcome to the marketplace of secrets, a place where everything, even the most hidden truths, has a price. Here in the heart of the dark web, transactions take place in hushed whispers and coded languages. 
This is where the dark web's reputation gets its fuel. Illicit markets emerge from the shadows, offering goods that range from the contraband to the unthinkable. Hacking services are available for a price, bought and sold like any other commodity. Sensitive information, whether it's corporate secrets, personal data or classified documents, all find their way into this clandestine marketplace. But, like any other market, it's supply and demand that rule here. There's a buyer for every secret, and a secret for every buyer. The marketplace of secrets is a testament to our human curiosity, our thirst for the forbidden, and our obsession with the unknown. But remember in the shadows, secrets are the currency, and not all who venture here emerge unscathed. As we delve deeper into the heart of the dark web, we must ask ourselves, are we ready to pay the price? Behind the screens there's a human side to the dark web. It's easy to get lost in the shroud of secrecy and forget that at the end of every transaction, there's a person. But who are these shadowy figures that inhabit this clandestine world? Let's delve deeper. Many of them are just like you and me looking for a place where they can express themselves freely, away from the prying eyes of surveillance. There are unique communities and forums within the dark web, places where people gather to discuss topics they can't in the open. From political dissenters to privacy advocates, the dark web provides a haven for free speech and anonymity. But it's not just about the secrets and the shadows. There's a brighter side to the dark web, one that's rarely talked about. Ethical hackers, also known as white hats, use the dark web to expose vulnerabilities in our online security systems. They are the unsung heroes of the internet, tirelessly working in the shadows to make the web a safer place for everyone. And then there are the whistleblowers, the brave souls who risk everything to expose the truth. The dark web provides them with a platform to share classified information without revealing their identity, changing the course of history in the process. In the midst of the darkness, humanity finds a way. Even in the most secretive corners of the internet, there's a sense of community, a shared purpose, a glimmer of hope. So, as we continue our journey into the heart of the dark web, let's remember, it's not all about the secrets, it's about the people behind them. As our journey into the heart of the dark web continues, we can't help but wonder, what does the future hold for this clandestine corner of the internet? The dark web, much like the rest of the online world, isn't static. It's constantly evolving, adapting and growing. New technologies such as artificial intelligence and quantum computing are likely to have profound implications on the dark web. While these advancements may provide new tools for those seeking to exploit the dark web for illicit activities, they also offer new opportunities for those working to keep the internet safe and secure. In the future, we may see an even greater emphasis on privacy and security, with more robust encryption methods and advanced anonymization techniques. This could potentially make the dark web more accessible for ordinary internet users, changing the way we interact with the digital world. On the flip side, these advancements could also lead to new challenges. As the dark web becomes more sophisticated, it could become an even more attractive hub for illegal activities, making it harder for law enforcement agencies to monitor and track. But let's not forget the potential for positive change. The dark web has the potential to become a platform for even greater freedom of expression and information exchange. It could serve as a safe haven for those living under oppressive regimes, a platform for whistleblowers, or a space for free and open debate. We stand on the brink of a new era in the digital age. The future of the dark web is dark and full of possibilities. As we venture forward, let's remember the value of the human side we explored earlier. Let's strive to use these tools for good, to foster a sense of community and uphold the principles of freedom and privacy that the internet was built upon. Stepping out of the shadows and back into the light, it's time to reflect on the journey we've taken together. We've delved into the mysteries of the dark web, ventured into its hidden corners, and uncovered its good, its bad, and its downright ugly. We've explored the cloak of anonymity that shrouds its users, separating myth from reality, and examined the bustling marketplace of secrets it harbors. We've looked at the human side of the dark web, reminding ourselves that behind every screen, there's a person. And we've gazed into the future, contemplating the potential implications of technological advancements, on this clandestine corner of the internet. Just as we've journeyed together, we want to hear from you. Have you had any experiences with the dark web? What are your thoughts on its future? Any questions left unanswered? Share your thoughts, experiences, and queries in the comments below. As we conclude, let's remember that the dark web, like any tool, is neutral. 
Its morality isn't inherent but rather lies in how it's used. It can be a platform for freedom of expression, a haven for those living under oppressive regimes, a resource for whistleblowers, or a space for open debate. But it can also be a hub for illegal activities. As we move forward, let's strive to harness the positive potential of the dark web and work together to mitigate its darker aspects. Until next time, stay curious, stay vigilant, and most importantly, stay safe in your digital explorations.